So I want to talk about the three main causes of twitching or tetany, where you have this little, uh, it could be in the arm where it's like twitching or on your face, it starts twitching and you're wondering, what the heck is that? Well, there's three main causes. One is alkalosis, okay? This is a condition where your body is too alkaline, and I'm talking about the blood. It's very, very difficult to test the pH of your blood because as soon as you pull it out, it oxidizes and it changes the pH. So it's very, very difficult. So I put a video down below of all the symptoms of alkalosis so you can kind of see if maybe you have that condition, okay? Now, there's several causes to alkalosis. Uh, one is decreased potassium. Okay, in the diet. Number two is not enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Uh, so if you don't have the acidifiers, um, you tend to go more on the alkaline side. And that would be having your pH go a little higher than it should. Uh, also, cortisol, which is triggered by stress, that can also alkalize the body. Being on a diuretic, you can lose potassium and have alkalosis as well. Now, when the pH in your blood is a little too alkaline, uh, what happens, since about 40% of your calcium is transported through a protein called albumin, uh, the calcium binds very, very tightly to that protein and it becomes unavailable to you. So we usually have low calcium, okay? And calcium is one of the electrolytes. So if you don't have calcium, you're gonna have a problem with uh, transmission of nerve and muscle impulses. And you're gonna get this phenomena of twitching, okay? So the connection between alkalosis and twitching is really the calcium, okay? Now, would it make more sense to take more calcium? No, because calcium, especially in the form of calcium carbonate, like limestone, is very alkalizing. So that would make it worse because you're already alkaline. What you have to do is drop the pH, and we will talk about that in the next slide. Also, if you're on any acids, okay, that's going to alkalize the body, and that could be even causing uh, the alkalosis as well, directly. All right, um, next thing is hypocalcemia. That's low calcium in the blood. We talked about that right here, but there's an actual entire condition, hypocalcemia. That could be coming from low parathyroid hormone uh, or low vitamin D, which is probably the more common cause. Some of the symptoms of hypocalcemia are tingling in the tips of the fingers, okay, around the mouth. Uh, it can be in other places as well, on your toes and bottom of the feet. Arrhythmias of the heart, palpitations, psychosis, depression, anxiety, low blood pressure. And the last one is hypomagnesemia, okay? This is low magnesium in the blood. That's gonna create tremors spasms, fatigue, arrhythmias, palpitations, very similar to this, right? Because this is low calcium, this is low magnesium. This is low potassium. This could be created from taking antacids, or let's say, for example, you had insulin resistance, which most people do, like a pre-diabetic state, because you need the in insulin transporters to transport magnesium. Uh, antibiotics, diuretics, low vitamin D, fluoride actually will lower your magnesium. Okay, let's go right to the action steps. Here we go. Number one, acidify, apple cider vinegar. Start consuming that one to two tablespoons in a glass of water with a straw a few times a day. You can take betaine hydrochloride if your hydrochloric acid is, is low and you take it right before you eat, it'll help your digestion. You can also get these in pill form. Okay, so we wanna acidify. That's gonna uh, allow the calcium to unbind from the protein, and the calcium will start to help in the normal contraction and relaxation process. Number two, add magnesium and potassium. Just so happens, both of those minerals are in these things called vegetables, okay? All right, number three, add some vitamin D. That will increase the um, calcium if you're low. Lower stress. Of course, get a water filter you know, instead of drinking tap water so you can pull out the fluorine. And also get a shower filter so you can filter out the fluorides as well. All right, guys, there you have it. Go ahead and get started. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.